The United States managed to realize the dream of mankind for a real laser weapon, something like what we saw in science fiction books, films, and games about the distant future. Now, the US Army has several types of combat lasers that have been successfully tested. One of them has recently destroyed all the electronics on the ship that served as a training target, and this means that similar prototypes will be installed on many vehicles of the US Navy in the very near future. Welcome to the Black Widow Channel, and today we will tell you about the real-life types of laser weapons being developed, tested, or already adopted by the US Army. History of US Laser Weapons A great leap forward in creation of such weapons was made during the implementation of the SDI Strategic Defense Initiative Program, launched by President Ronald Reagan, which lasted from 1984 to 1993. The main goal of the program was to gain dominance in space, which would make it possible to create a reliable anti-missile shield over the whole of North America. Within the framework of the project, significant steps were taken to create nuclear-fueled lasers, as well as chemical lasers, orbital mirrors, and ground-based lasers. X-ray laser systems fueled by nuclear explosions were based on the use of special rods located on the surface of a nuclear charge which after detonation would turn into ionized plasma but retain the previous configuration for the first milliseconds and cooling down in the first fractions of a second after the explosion, radiate a narrow beam of hard X-rays along its axis. Also, according to one of the concepts for creating a new anti-missile shield, it was planned to build a system of orbital stations armed with chemical lasers. Various design solutions have been proposed, with laser systems ranging from 5 to 20 megawatts. These objects received a conventional designation battle stars. While in orbit, they were supposed to hit missiles and MIRVs in the early stages of flight, immediately after leaving the atmosphere. In addition, the idea of creating a partially space-based laser system was considered, which would include a powerful laser complex located on Earth, and a system of orbital mirrors that direct the reflected beam to warheads. The location of the main laser complex on the ground made it possible to solve a number of problems, with the provision of energy, heat removal, and system protection. Although at the same time, it led to inevitable losses in beam power when passing through the atmosphere. It was assumed that a complex of laser installations located on the tops of the highest mountains in the United States, at the critical moment of the attack, would be activated and direct the beams into outer space. Concentrating mirrors located in geostationary orbits were supposed to collect and focus the beams, scattered by the atmosphere, and redirect them to more compact low-orbit mirrors, which would aim the doubly reflected beams at the warheads. All these interesting designs were forgotten for several decades after the collapse of the USSR and the complete end of the Cold War. But over time, it became clear that many of them can be useful in our time to solve other tactical problems. Let's take a closer look at what the most well-known promising designs in this direction exist in the United States right now. Boeing one of the most famous laser weapons projects is the aircraft-based chemical laser developed as part of the creation of the National Missile Defense System, placed on a Boeing YAL-1 aircraft, designed to intercept missiles. Later, the development of the HEL-MD program was started. From November 18 to December 10, 2013, a combat mobile laser, High Energy Laser Mobile Demonstrator, HEL-MD, with a power of 10 kilowatts was tested at a test site in New Mexico. During the tests, the installation destroyed more than 90 artillery mines and several drones. In 2014, successful tests were carried out in difficult weather conditions. On August 3, 2015, an unmanned aerial vehicle was successfully shot down at the Black Dart exercise using the 2-kilowatt Boeing Compact Laser Weapon System CLWS. Northrop Grumman Corporation As part of the creation of the U.S. missile defense system in the late 90s, together with the Israeli Defense Department, the Nautilus Chemical Laser, also known as THEL, Tactical High Energy Laser, was developed. By 2008, an upgraded version of the system called SkyGuard was released. Directed Energy Systems, part of the Northrop Grumman Corporation, is developing laser weapons for the Navy. On April 6, 2011, their designs were tested on the decommissioned Spruance-class destroyer Paul F. Foster. In addition to the prototype naval combat laser, Northrop Grumman Corporation has developed a number of land-based solid-state devices. In October 2019, information appeared that the Northrop Grumman device, with a power of up to 150 kilowatts, designed to destroy unmanned vehicles and small vessels, is planned to be used on the USS Portland, LPD-27, Amphibious Transport Dock, where the NAVC LAWS device was already tested in 2018. Lockheed Martin In 2012, Lockheed Martin officially unveiled a prototype of the Atom, 
Area Defense Anti-Munitions Compact Ground-Based Air Defense System. The system was tested in 2012 and 2013 against small unmanned aerial vehicles and missiles at a distance of approximately one mile, and in 2014 against motorboats. In March 2017, Lockheed Martin tested a new combat laser, the projected power of which is 60 kilowatts. During testing, the measured power of the laser beam of the new installation was 58 kilowatts. The tests that took place were recognized as the final ones in the project for the development of laser weapons, created under the contract of the U.S. Army. The technology used in the new facility, according to Lockheed Martin, can reduce energy consumption by an average of 50% compared to solid-state lasers. DARPA in the mid-1980s, U.S. government research institutions under the auspices of the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency of the U.S. Department of Defense, DARPA, and companies of the West German military industry launched a joint program aimed at developing tactical military air and missile defense systems with combat laser installations on self-propelled carriers, HEL, high-energy laser, for the needs of NATO. At the same time in this area, the U.S. Department of Defense preferred to take an equidistant position of an outside observer, hoping, if these projects were successful, to purchase less expensive foreign systems than to invest fabulous funds in nationally developed laser weapons. In early 2014, DARPA tested the Excalibur installation. It includes 28 fiber lasers combined into a system that is able to focus the beam at a distance exceeding 4 miles. Each element has an emitting power of 10 watts. They are combined into blocks of seven pieces, with a diameter of 3.94 inches each. Their total number and power can be increased by adding additional blocks. DARPA experiments have shown the effectiveness of a scalable laser with a set of emitters. Excalibur uses a special algorithm for optimizing laser radiation, and within a matter of milliseconds, corrects the parameters of the laser beam, compensating for the turbulence of the atmosphere. It is planned to increase the power to 100 kilowatts, which will be enough to destroy missiles, shells, UAVs, and manpower. In addition, such a system can be combined with existing platforms, helicopters, aircraft, ships, armored vehicles. Developers expect the fiber laser to be 10 times lighter and more compact than current experimental solid-state laser systems. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, commissioned by DARPA, is working on the creation of a laser system for protecting aircraft from missiles of various classes based on the High Energy Liquid Laser Area Defense System. U.S. Navy Naval Systems Command – NAVC Lasers On April 8, 2013, the U.S. Navy announced plans for 2014 to equip warships with lasers capable of hitting unmanned aerial vehicles and small craft. And on the YouTube channel U.S. Navy, an official video was posted on the same day from tests on July 30, 2012 in San Diego aboard the USS Dewey DDG-105 of the LAWS Laser Weapon System Laser created by the Research Naval Sea Systems Command NAVC. At the end of 2014, the first combat laser installation under this project was deployed on the USS Ponce, landing ship in the Persian Gulf. According to CNN in July 2017, the system was successfully tested. This laser is designed to destroy drones and speedboats. The device itself is expensive, but it is much cheaper to operate than any other means of defense designed to solve the same problems. For comparison, if a shot at a drone or a boat with a high-precision missile can cost $1.4 million, then one shot from a unit of lasers with a power of about 30 kilowatts costs less than $10. At the same time, beam fire can be conducted almost continuously without experiencing the need for pauses between shots and replenishment of ammunition during the battle. The laser simply destroys all the electronics on the enemy vehicle. The only significant disadvantage of the system is the need for good weather conditions. Fog, snow, and rain make the system useless. In the video published on the official CNN YouTube channel on July 18, 2017, you can see what the operation of this device looks like. They fire silently and invisibly, while the beam reaches the target amazingly fast, almost at the speed of light, which no rocket will ever be able to achieve. Working with the installation is technically similar to controlling a laser target designator in a computer game. Inside the device there is a chamber with special materials, emitting photons. The operator sits in the control room with a joystick and receives all the information on the displays in the form of digital, textual data and video. Seeing an approaching boat, he aims from afar at a specific part of it, for example at the engine, and precisely disables it, without damaging anything else if it is not necessary. Any other weapon cannot provide the same accuracy, usually causing a lot more collateral damage. To some, the shots with a demonstration of the operation of the laser may seem unconvincing, because it does not look very impressive. 
The drone just flies in the air, and then it just starts to fall, because all the electronics in it instantly burned out. No flashes of explosion and smoke, but beauty in real combat is not important. The main thing is that the weapon really works. And the Raytheon company created a combat laser to equip the AH-64 Apache helicopters by order of the U.S. Department of Defense. On June 26, 2017, they announced the successful testing of the system at a missile range in White Sands, New Mexico. Test footage can be seen in a video posted by the company on YouTube on June 26, 2017. Separately, it is worth noting that in addition to prototypes of the damaging effect, the United States is introducing lasers into the arsenal of the Army, designed to provide a blinding effect on the organs of vision of enemy personnel, as well as on optical systems for targeting and recognizing military equipment. The most famous American product in this direction is the Phaser Laser Rifle, developed by the Department of Defense. Also, for the needs of the Army and the police, LE Systems have developed a blinding CHPLD, Compact High Power Laser Dazzler System. And for today, this is all useful information about American combat lasers. Like, share your opinion in the comments, subscribe to the channel, and press the bell to be the first to receive notifications of new videos on the Black Widow channel.